Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name's Chara, and today I'm going to show you how to get the max number of blood points in a single match as a survivor, which is notoriously much more difficult than as killer. So we're going to show you how to get 32,000 blood points, which we can increase with perks and offerings to get 96,000 blood points. I'm going to go through my perks and some other perks that I think would work well, but if you want to skip right to the gameplay, you can do so with the timestamps down below. Alright, so our goal is to get 32,000 blood points in a single match, and to do so, we need to get the max of 8,000 blood points in each of the four categories, which for Survivor are Objectives, Survival, Altruism, and Boldness. And to do this, I'm going to use the following perk clip. The first perk that we're going to use is We're Gonna Live Forever, which is our most important perk, because if we're able to get four stacks of We're Gonna Live Forever by either getting a safe hook rescue or a protection hit, then we can double our blood points at the end, from 32,000 to 64,000. In addition to this, we're going to bring either an escape cake, or you can also bring a bloody party streamer, which will give us another 32,000 on top of that, for a total of 96,000 for the match. So if you're going to run any perk to get more blood points as a survivor, I would recommend bringing We're Gonna Live Forever if you have it unlocked. The second perk that we're going to bring is Borrowed Time, because it's going to help us get those safe hook rescues for We're Gonna Live Forever, and it's also going to help us with our next perk, which is Deliverance. And the reason that we're bringing this perk is that Survival is probably the most difficult category for survivors to earn blood points in. You get 5,000 for escaping a match, uh, but you earn very few other survival blood points during a match. You get a few for wiggling and struggling, but not really much else. So this perk is really going to help us out by giving 1,500 blood points in survival for escaping the hook. So the fourth perk that we're going to bring is Boon Circle of Healing. And this perk is going to help us on a number of different fronts. One, if you bless a totem, you get 1,500 blood points in boldness. Two, if we heal ourselves with this boon, we will get another 300 in survival, plus any additional blood points from skill checks. And three, this perk is just going to help us keep us healed up so that we're able to go for those safe hook rescues and take those protection hits. And in addition to this, I'm also going to bring a ranger make kit. This isn't really necessary, but it's also going to help out. Uh, this make kit will provide two full heals, and we're also going to bring the surgical suture and the needle and thread add-ons, which will provide an additional 525 points in survival for each great skill check that we hit. So I just want to give you a couple other perk options if you either don't have some of these perks or if you're just looking for some other options. So the first one that I want to highlight is Decisive Strike. Um, and this perk will give you 500 blood points in survival for escaping the killer's grasp. It also pairs pretty well with Deliverance. Um, there's also another benefit which is that it makes you the obsession. If you die as the obsession, you get a thousand blood points in survival, and if you escape as the obsession, you get 1500 blood points. So perks that make you the obsession are great in trying to get those extra blood points. Another great perk option that I think will swell with this is for the people. Uh, along with the 500 blood points you get for healing another survivor, it also makes you the obsession. So you can kind of cheekily do this at the end to almost always guarantee that you are the obsession at the end of the trial to get those blood points. The next perk that I want to highlight is Prove Thyself. And this is a great uh, free perk that gives you 100% bonus blood points in cooperating with other survivors. I really like using this perk because it can help you max out your objective category very easily. So if you don't have any of these other perks, I think this is a really great option. And the last perk that I want to highlight is Saboteur. I think either using this perk or you can use a toolbox, you don't, it doesn't have to be this toolbox, it can be any toolbox, um, is great because it gives you 500 blood points for each hook that you set out. So you can just go around set dashing hooks. And if you bring a toolbox, you can also just bring these protective gloves if you don't want to give the killer a loud noise notification. So I think that's also um, a great perk to use. All right, I'm not gonna lie to you guys and pretend that I got this to work on the very first match. It actually took me five attempts to get the max blood points in a single match. As a survivor, a lot of things are just outside of your control. Sometimes you get chased the entire match and you can't get objective points. Or sometimes the match goes really quickly and the killer only gets a couple of hooks, which makes it really hard to get your altruism points. So it's impossible to guarantee a build that will get you the next, next number of blood points every match. Regardless, this build will help you get more blood points overall. So I'm going to show you the fifth match, and I hope you enjoy. Alright, so we got Fractured Cowshed, which actually might not be that great for us, uh, because it's a pretty survivor side in map. 
So the game might go a little quickly. They have Ruin, which is actually pretty good because that'll help slow down the game. And also might help us get uh, the most objective points that we can. Sounds like a trickster. And it sounds like he's come this way. Yeah, sorry Claudette. I really just don't want to be the first person booked because I want to be able to get my deliverance. Is he coming here or is he chasing that? I guess I know. Okay, now we're cooperating with this Yui, which is good because cooperating gets you extra blood points. Um, the also, the other nice thing about facing Trickster is that if you get hit with blades and then they decay, you get um, some survival points for that. Done. Let's see if I can find any totems. Alright, two gens done. See, I'm a little worried the game might go a little fast. Okay, but he got it down, that's good. Okay, me and the Yuger are clowning on nearby. Yeah, I, I would like to not be the one chased here because I still haven't gotten my safe hook rescue. This might be spicy. Okay, he's on he's reloading. Let's go, let's go. Okay, he's not following us. I don't know, he knows where. Okay, you know what? Let's just let's just play it safe. Let's just go here and maybe maybe you can get the unhook with this key. I just don't want to go down here before I've gotten my deliverance off. They say folk rescue to get my deliverance. Okay, they got the rescue. They're chasing this Claudette. I'd like I'd like to help her, but I'd also like to not be. Okay, he's leaving. Okay, let's heal her up. Get some altruism points in, since we don't have any yet. And then we'll get some more co-op points. Cooperating on this gen. We'll ruin some rest it a little bit, but not too much. Yeah, we're doing pretty well on objectives. I'm just worried we'll get the rest before the game's over. Let's see if I can find any totems that I can bless. No, I don't see any. Okay, the Kate went down. I would like to get this unhook if possible. the fourth gen. Which is not good. Um, but I'm almost max on objectives. Okay, I am max on objectives. So now, you know, there's no real reason for me to keep doing gens. Well, I mean, we do need to survive, so we do need to finish the last gen, but I would like to come over here and get this unhook guy. Both of them are around here. I don't know if he was just camping. Okay, she's gonna get the unhook. Maybe we can get protection in. I'm not sure if that person had bar time, so I'll try to. Well, I guess that doesn't count. It's okay, we still got some options now. He's after the key. Uh, let's see if we can heal up here. Uh. <laughs> 
to here. Ah. Alright, in general, it's not a good idea to do this. Because it gives him a lot of pressure by having so many people like near the hook. But you don't really care too much about like getting the game done fast. So I am so sorry, Kate. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. Okay, but we got our two we're gonna forever stacks, and we got our deliverance after we did. Uh, they're gonna get the key here. I don't think she has DS. Okay, we gotta save escape. Right, it doesn't. It doesn't matter if we get down. We we save escape. Okay, he's dropping her. But like, if we go down, that's fine. Uh, Spade of venting. Um, I think we're completely fine. These are too tall to be able to hit you. And you move so slow in the main event. Oh, I should not have thrown that pallet. She's not healed enough. But it's okay, if we, get, if we go down, we go down. We'd ideally like him to pick us up, but I doubt he will. I'm sorry, Kate. Uh, uh, oh, he's picking us up. That's perfect. Uh, oh, and he's uh, dropping us. Oh, you, you might be able to pick us up. Okay, okay. We go get Kate now. Nice, nice. Alright, run, Kate, run! <laughs> Okay, if he picks up Claudette, we can heal Kate here. Yeah, he's not picking up Claudette. Okay, let's see if we can get ourselves chased. No, he's not interested. Okay, let's go pick up the Claudette. Wait, Kate, what are you doing here? You should have ran. Oh, no. Okay, I feel a little better now that I know that we're just all throwing. <laughs> Okay, let's heal ourselves up here. Alright, getting those great skill checks, which gets us 525 blood points. That's great. Doing the last gen. <laughs> okay, the Claudette's a Sabo player, that's why they've been hanging out. Alright, me and the Claudette are a good max blood points team. She did it. We might be in some trouble here, though. If this Claudette goes down. Yeah. The U.S. make sure she doesn't go down here. Not, not going to set. Yeah. Okay. He's got the key. But you might be able to pick one of us up, though. Claudette might not be recovered enough. Come get me, and I'll get Claudette. Cause like, we kinda wanna go down. Cause we wanna get more, sh more like, recovering points, we wanna get more survival. Plus like, we need to use our, our deliverance in order to get max survival. We need to use our deliverance and escape. 
Let's pick this up. That's good. I promise I'm a little worried we might have to get If you can see by the survival bar, um, we'll have enough if we get our deliverance and escape. So just wait till he's, just wait till he's like behind this tractor. Okay, I'll take my escape. I guess I'll open this exit gate here. Oh, he has no way out. Okay, we will not open this exit gate. Let's see if we can get a, a boon totem and then we can heal ourselves. Oh, is this Ruin? Okay, well, we're blessing Ruin. Which will take longer. I'm a little worried he might come over here to reload. And then hear us. Okay. Why can I not heal? I'm in oh, I'm, I'm dumb. I still, I'm still broken from deliverance. It just wore off, but yeah, I was broken from deliverance. Okay, so we got the unhook. Which could, okay, so we are almost, we are maxed on altruism actually. Um, so let's heal up this Claudette. So we have max objective. We have max altruism. I'm not sure if we have max boldness, but we will have max survival if we escape. Let's open this other exegete. Oh, wasn't it over here? I thought it was over here. Oh no, I guess it's over here. Where the Yui went down. Okay, looks like he's just like kinda like camping. So we'll try to go for the exegate and see if Claudette can get the rescue. Because we like we really need to escape here. We we don't want to go down. But I like I don't want to leave the Yui either. Oh, he's actually coming. I'm surprised. Okay. I'm pretty sure this other exit gate has not been touched. I'm just gonna see if we can, like, double back. Because after they heal, I assume they're opening that exit gate over there. Yeah, okay, I think, I think we might be okay. Trickster's pretty slow. Yeah, and the Claudette's here. She might be able to help us out. Okay, and the X-Gate's being opened. I think we make it. Alright, is that it? Is that it? Nice! Max survival! Okay, we did it! Okay, let's see. Reveal time. Yeah, eight thousands across the board. Nice. That Thirty-two thousand. Okay, and then with the we're gonna live forever and the escape cake, we got ninety-six thousand for the match. So almost a hundred k for one match. Uh, and then obviously, if you have friends, uh, this was in solo queue. But if you have friends, you could obviously stack bloody party shroomers to get even more. But yeah, it took us five attempts, but we did eventually get to here uh, with the the max blood points in a single match. It may not have been the prettiest, and you might ask, at what cost? But, you know, we did it, and I'm super pumped about it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked the video, and that you stick around for more fun videos to come. Alright, bye everyone.